artsies out here yeah so today we are going to paint with scissors so if you don't really know what i mean about that and you are curious stay tuned and i will show you in a minute Um, like I said we're gonna paint with scissors today um, but now you're gonna ask me why and and um, you have a couple of questions I can understand that so let me just give you a quick recap on what we discussed about Henry or not a recap the last part of Henry Matisse's life so that you know where I am heading so um, like I told you previously, he went to Morocco, he came back, he was very successful, he sold out his, um, uh, his uh, art exhibition and he actually was making a lot of money um, of his art. Um, but in this, in, in, um, during the Second World War II, Henry Matisse got diagnosed with cancer. And he had to um, undergo an operation while the operation was a success it basically left him as like uh, very uh, how can I say it um, uh, disabled so he couldn't walk or sit for long periods of time it made him wheelchair bound um, it did take him two years to recover uh, luckily there was a group of nuns that nursed him to health again um, for th for um, he wanted to repay them in a way so uh, he offered to build them a new church and paid for it design it build it and pay for it um, so that he did um, the other thing that happened during that time with him is he couldn't paint anymore but that did not stop him. So what he started doing was painting these massive um, uh, papers um, or they would paint these papers for him, his assistants, or he would, and then he would do cutouts um, with organic forms onto these papers that he painted. Um, and then the, he would make, he would create these absolutely amazing collages that I will show you now. Um, so as you can see, it is very colorful and bright and very simplistic. So what I'm going to teach you today is to go very simplistic on our design um, and going from there and creating a collage with different kinds of colors. Um, and we're going to do our own Henry Matisse uh, cutouts today. Um, and that's how you, we're going to paint with scissors. So, okay, artsies, so let's begin. Um, what I did I, is I set up a very simple and simplistic still life um, in my house with some uh, pots, a, a pot uh, or a vase that I have um, with some other decor and stuff. This pot is actually um, handmade by... Um, Magda van der Vloot, which is one of my friends and one of the most amazing um, artists that I know. If I go to South Africa in December, I will definitely do an interview with her so that you guys can learn from her and hear from her what it takes to be a successful artist. Um, okay, so let's see. We have to simplify this so that we can make it. You saw how simplistic um, Henry Matisse uh, cut out was so we're going to simplify this scene and uh, make it very simple um, and easy to do cut out and recreate this in a very artsy and fun way with amazing colors we're going to play with colors and so on so um let's start so i'm going to start with just putting my red tangle in um here and then i will um so her head i will form as an oval I'll put her neck in and maybe another oval and just simplify it. Um, these little flowers 
um, they, if you really look closely, they, they almost look like little hearts. So we can actually put, cut out a lot, tons and tons of hearts and just create this. And what I was thinking is just bringing these hearts down like this and letting it flow and making it more interesting. So let's quickly do the, um, simplify this. I'm quickly going to do the sketch for this one um, so that you guys can see how I simplify um, a, 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 this um, very uh, simplistic still life. So like I said, I'm going to put in like a triangle here, a rectangle. Why do I always want to say triangle for a rectangle? I'm sorry, artsies. It seems like I'm a bit confused. It seems like I want to re rename the shapes. <laughs> okay, so um, it's a double line, so I might put that in because that could make it very interesting. Um, I might just like cut triangles out and put them like in like that. Um, uh, let's see if I put that in, I can put another little rectangle in here and just that and with two little circles. And then for the rope, I might just cut uh, pieces of paper going like this. Um, and from that side like this just to make it more interesting okay now we're gonna get to our little doll so I'm gonna put her next to this so I'll probably make an oval just putting her neck in shaping her quickly so she's probably You see, I looked for shapes again. Remember what I told you guys. Okay, and maybe just like put her on something. Okay, so I'm making her very simplistic. Um, as you can see, I'm not putting in a lot of detail. Um, I'm okay, and then for her, I'll probably cut her head something like that. Okay, and then for for the flowers, like I said, if you look closely, they almost look like little hearts all grouped together. Uh, I know they're not, but um, that is the closest that, uh, shape that I can see. And I think if we put a lot of them together and let them fall down, uh, coming down like this way, and maybe putting some petals down here, and all around her that could actually look very interesting so okay so that is me planning my basic what I want to do and my cut out um, that I want to do so now I know I need a body shape um, in one color I think I'm gonna do the black um, oh and I do need um, I'm going to have to decide what colors I'm going to do these in and then the flowers as well. Um, I see now the lips. I think that could actually, it reminds me of the one Matisse that I showed you guys. The um, So I might put the lips in the only red I might put in the whole. Um, because imagine this is all black and you put just the red lips and I don't think I'm going to put in eyes um, at this stage. I might change my mind um, as soon as I have her uh, all cut out and put everything together. That's the nice thing with a collage. You can basically cut everything out, 
uh, rearrange it, move it around until you're happy with that. So I think this is my plan, what I'm going to do. And I think, um, so yes, let's hop over and start cutting some pieces of paper. Okay, Artsies, so that so you can see, I decided to um, use a white background and I'm going to paint the background for myself. Um, I'm layering it from a light green and then I'm putting like a little blue in and just layering it and then um, yeah you can see me with my plans um, so I'm having it the up there so I can see what I'm doing yeah I am I'm comparing the two colors the blue and the black um, like the one I showed you um, remember I said I'm gonna do the her little body in the black and I look do like the blue contrast so I'll do the um, lantern effect in the blue contrast so now you just position um, it where you want it um, yeah and then you stick it on your paper um, I decided to do the um, the the handles on top of the um, lantern a little bit skew just to make it um, bring in some more extra um, variety to the shapes yeah I'm just positioning her bodies um, and stick it where I want it now I'm going to start pasting my little hearts. Um, overlapping them and forms like a flower effect. Uh, it actually makes a very nice effect um, overlaying the hearts. And you'll see some of the hearts are full, some of them are just like half, the points are cut off. And it really creates a very nice effect. And bringing them down um, creates this um, flowing with, for your eyes. So your eyes will flow down the um, your collage and your picture. So I I chose the white and the yellow for the f for the flowers. It just gives a popping effect with the colors, and because Matisse was so well known for um, using bright um, colors um, with his organic shapes, I decided to do that, um, bringing that colors in. Just an interesting quick fact, um, so Matisse spent the last 14 years of his life bedridden um, but, that's, but that didn't stop him, that's when he started to do this cutouts and that was actually the thing that made him very very famous um, in today's um, art community. Now I am cutting the red lips out and putting them on and like I said that's going to be the only red thing I'm bringing in. Um, just to make um, a focus point, um, so to say. I'm putting her on a base, um, like the stand she was standing on, um, so that she don't float in the air. At this point, I have to decide what color I'm gonna put, do the gloss in. Um, the green is not gonna work for me, so I decided to do the purple, and I'm just gonna cut uh, four triangles out and put them in to form the um, gloss shaped um, on the um, lantern and then the rope I'm going to do in the yellow just to repeat the yellow color and I'm going to put it over and make it come down like a little S uh, for another flowing of the eye. It is important to bring some flowing movement um, into your artwork so that your eye can be led from from the one um, side of your artwork to another and that's why um, on the picture itself it is at the back the rope is at the back of the lantern but I'm bringing in it to the front to help um, emphasize the flow um, in my artwork now this is where the fun starts you can see there's two spots on the um, that's very open so um, that doesn't have any detail on it and um, that is where you can improvise and um, repeat some of the shapes that you have used um, repeat some of the colors you have used so that's what I'm doing now I'm just playing around with different shapes um, with the different colors um, and just to see how I can um, pull everything together and that's where you can start playing doing some cutout and um, just grouping them together and just making them like in a whole just creating this whole artwork remember don't be afraid to experiment experiment with different shapes and sizes and yeah putting them on taking them off 
um, sticking them, uh, just moving them around until it works for you. So here you see the final um, artwork that I've done. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, here is um, Matisse a la a la Olfia. And um, if you like this video, please um, give it a thumbs up. Subs don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week.